Hello and welcome. So, this is the stuff we are using. Yeah? These are the things we get I bought in a Raspberry Pi bundle. Okay? There is a case. It's just a case. You can open it. Nothing much inside. You can even open the side walls. Yeah? I like those cases because they really look nice afterwards okay there is also a typical a typical uh, orange or red one with white applications but this is how they look like okay you can even close the whole open the whole case this here is nothing more than an ac adapter we open it you find a typical thing inside, AC-DC adapter, yeah, supplying with a micro USB port and since I'm living in Austria, so in the EU, I'm not using this. This shield here, I'm using this shield, of course. Clickety-clack, ready. Okay. AC adapter and then we got this and then we got this this is the Raspberry Pi 3 model B should be enough for our reasons yeah. open it or maybe not open it opened here it is this is how it looks like okay raspberry pi model 3 network connections usb connections hdmi connection power supply headphones jack and here you can even even directly connect it at display okay raspberry pi this one we will use this one we will use to, to test our skills in programming or in setting up in setting up a database. Okay? Setting up a database. Uh, here there's something missing. That's the SD card. We have to plug in an SD card if we want to get this thing running. There is also such adapter, part of the bundle, and a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. If we plug it in here, then the thing should work. Okay? If we connect, it will start. So this is our hard drive, our SSD, let's call it. Our SSD, solid state drive, and from this we will boot. Now we got to get here the operating system on. Yeah. My computer has big SD, so I need the adapter and I will plug it into my computer. So, starting from here, yeah, we're going to download. Yeah. Then we want to download the image. This is under this button here. Yeah. Press. And I'm currently downloading always Raspberry Pi OS with desktop. Yeah. I will not download the recommended software, I will download with desktop. So download zip file and save. This of course will take a while because it's one gig. Okay, so we have to wait. Okay, so once we are finished downloading and unpacking the zip file, that we do have an image file. Yeah, this is then much bigger, it's around three gig. Then we can use a tool to flash this on our SD card. I'm using Win32 Disk Imager. I'm selecting the correct drive. F is my SD card, okay, my formatted SD card. And I select the image file. Okay. Select the image file 
and then I will write, I will say, write, schreiben, write. I get a warning, hey, please be certain what you do, yeah, because I'm writing now on this drive and I it can't be damaged. Yeah? If you have selected your hard drive, it's bad. I selected for sure my SD card, I press yes, and then the image file is now flashed on the SD card. Also, this takes a while. So now we're almost there, 94, 95%. So the image should just be finished flashing on the drive. Ready, writing was successful. Now we get even some error messages from Windows. Why? Because Windows does not understand anymore what is written on this SD card? Because it's a different file system. It's not FAT32, it's now an EXT file system, a UNIX file system. This time don't press FORMAT. Yeah? Just press CANCEL. Yeah, okay, can, you cannot access it. There are some strange files on E. There are now even more. Yeah? No, no, no. Yeah? Writing was successful. Okay. Fine. End. That's it. Now we have flashed our Raspberry Pi OS on our SD card. And we are going to plug in the SD card into our Raspberry. Okay, so here is my SD card. I've just flashed. Take it out. This is my pile of Raspberry stuff here. Take it out. Put it in. Now it's a whole computer with operating system. Okay. This time I'm going to put it in my case also so that it looks already pretty decent. Stick together the case. Clickety clack. Yeah. Put on the all covers and see Sunday it looks very decent here is the SD card yeah. and I will plug it in now I will use this power adapter here okay I will plug it in let's see what the thing is doing Here we go. Clack. I will use my my screen over there. Yeah, please follow me. Okay, so my bundle. Okay. What I've prepared here. What I've prepared it, what we are, what we have to use. We would need an HDMI cable. This is connected to this to this monitor. Okay, so uh, HDMI cable. Plug it into the HDMI port. Okay. Then, of course, this one is my computer. I don't need this, but of course, I need a mouse. Okay. So you need to have somewhere a mouse. USB mouse is fine. Plug it into a spare USB port. Yeah. And you of course need a keyboard. Okay. Keyboard. So plug it. <coughs> plug it into the keyboard. Plug in the keyboard. Also spare USB device. Now I've connected this to this monitor. Yeah. Let's switch to the input. Yeah. I guess it will automatically switch further. DVI. Display board. Okay. So, plug it in. 
we have red light, power LED is on, okay, this looks good. Now I think we can reach, we can reach or see what the output of the Raspberry is. Ah, typical picture of the Raspberry, yeah. at the beginning, rainbow colors. There is now welcome, raspberry and so on. I'll try to make this better for you, but I'll let you look over my shoulder or put you closer to the to the screen, okay? Okay, so now you look closer. Yeah? The image quality is not that good, but this will change, okay? This will change uh, once we have once we have VNC enabled. This is the first message. Welcome to Raspberry Pi Desktop. Before you start using blah blah blah, think a few things to set up. Next, country. I am in Austria. Scroll, 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 Austria. Austrian German, Vienna, uses no, I have a German type keyboard. Next, setting location. You see those Morier patterns. Okay, change password. I will not change the password. I will leave this as Raspberry. Okay, next. No, my screen is fine. Searching now for networks. Okay, update software. I will skip this now. Yeah. Ready to go. Okay. I'll press now restart and my Raspberry Pi will restart. Wow. These are really beautiful Morier patterns. Okay, so I'm at my desktop. Now the Raspberry Pi is set up. Yeah? The only thing I'm doing now, the only thing I'm doing now is I am going to, on the top, I will try to move this a little bit. There is this bar. On the top there is this bar. And on the right hand side of this bar, you do have some icons. Yeah? And I will, I will change the wireless and network settings. I will use the VLAN setting and I will fix the IP address. Okay, because I want to have this thing to have a certain IP address. Okay, so I need to restart now. Restart can be done on the left top side. We are moving to the left. There is the start menu. Yeah. You can open and close it with this little button. And of course, root now in the middle, you get start new. Okay. Start new. Again, we restart the thing. Now we want to turn off 
access for SSH secure shell and I will also turn off uh, off I will I want to turn on of course access for SSH and I want to turn on access uh, for for VNC yeah. we will see what this is about so again on the top left let's change The configuration. Zzzt. SSH I want to activate, VNC I want to activate. Okay. Press OK. On the top right. We cannot now see the VNC button. Okay. So now our Raspberry is configured to a certain IP address. Yeah. Our Raspberry is running a VNC server and is running an SSH shell. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Now our Raspberry is configured well. What this SSH and this this VNC is, we will see. Okay. On the Windows, yeah, there's a so-called VNC viewer. Yeah. VNC viewer. You can install this VNC viewer, and then you see something like this here at my uh, the uh, my are already two two Raspberries configured. Now here I just have to enter the IP address of the running Raspberry, of the VNC running Raspberry. So it was two six. Yeah. I'll try to connect. Yeah. It says okay, the identity cannot be proved. I'm sure because I, I'm in my local area. I say okay, fortsetzen. Now username, and this was this pi. And Raspberry because we did not change anything. Okay. And here we go. We have the desktop of my of my server of my Raspberry Pi. I have this Raspberry Pi desktop here available and I can operate. Okay. Isn't that great? I can operate now my my Raspberry Pi without the need that it is connected somehow. Yeah. This is VNC. SSH, Secure Shell, I will show you too. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.